Okay, so I'm gonna get started and prime my face per usual. I do wanna say, don't mind my lip. I didn't get socked in the mouth. I did get my lips touched up, so it's pretty bruised and swollen right now, so just bear with me. But I wanted to do a true first impression on this product. I should probably wait for a wear test, but I really wanna just go ahead and try it, give you my first impressions. I was gonna do a wear test on this it cosmetics one but I want to film another video after this and there's a reason why I'm not gonna use this and you'll see that in a wear test I wanted to test this out now this is a pretty hefty priced foundation it's a hundred and twenty dollars which is insane they have one two three four five shades which really sucks they have more just lighter to medium colors more medium it looks like so those are the shade ranges right there. You get 1.1 ounce and it is SPF 23. They get mine off of Neiman Marcus. Hopefully this color matches me. I don't even know. I can't even keep up with self tanner anymore. Supposedly I looked on other sites and it had actually really good reviews. So we're going to see how it works on my skin. And the main factor of this is like it's $120. Okay, we all know I love my Sonia Kashuk one that's like 15, my Wet n Wild one which is like 6, so um, this is very good, okay? This is very, really good. So I'm going to go ahead and prime my face with my regular primers. I have my Smashbox primer water right here, you can see, almost out, and then my Kanan Austin mattifying primer. So if you're wondering what that glitter is, it is this Stila Diamond Dust, what is it, the Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. God, it is... I did not have to pack this on at all. I know you guys have probably been seeing this everywhere, but there's a reason why, and it's because it's beautiful. Um, I will say the glitter's kind of falling out on my face right now, so we're gonna see how that wears too, I guess, throughout the day. I feel like it's everywhere, but so far, I'm in love with it, and I love this color Diamond Dust, just because I feel like it will go with any kind of eyeshadow look. This is 1.1 ounces. It is in like a squeezy tube. I have this shade 020, and this is what it looks like. Honestly, it doesn't look like one fluid ounce or a little over, because it's such a tiny little bottle. That's the color. Maybe this will match. We'll see. And then today I'm going to use my L'Oreal sponge because you guys know I've been loving it. So I, for $120, I want this foundation to cover up all of my rosacea. I want it to make me look poreless and flawless. So we'll see. It seems pretty thick. Got dog hair. Whoa. Okay. Okay. It does have a scent to it. I feel like it's a floral scent. I feel like we should try one side with a beauty blender and then one side with brush. This looks matte. There's like no shine coming off of this on this product. This is definitely a thick foundation. A little thicker than I thought it would be, honestly, because I, I don't really find a lot of super high-end makeup like foundations to be really thick like this, but this is thicker. Wow, but look at that coverage. I mean, I had to put a little bit on this side because I had so much on my sponge. I do have just a little bit left, so I'm going to add just a little bit more. And we're going to use a brush. So, let's see what brush do I want to use. So, I'm going to use this IT Cosmetics CC Skin Perfecting Brush. And we're going to blend it out on this side see how well it blends out. Uh-uh. I don't think I'm feeling it with a brush. I'm just not really a brush person, you guys. I don't know what it is. Seems like a little bit less coverage. Sorry, I'm going back to the sponge because I can't. I don't like brushes very much. So this is a matte foundation. It's not really making my pores look amazing or the texture on my skin, to be honest with you. So I'm just going to dab this all over, get any excess product. Now, don't get me wrong. I have very oily skin. I love a matte foundation. So hopefully this doesn't look too drying after powder. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my regular concealer. I'm going to set my face with the Cody Airspun Loose Powder. I go back and forth with this product and my Flower Beauty Powder. All of New York Fashion Week I was using this powder and I really liked it. I'm going to let this bake and I'm going to finish my eyebrows and the rest of my face. Then I'm going to come back and give you guys a little update and then we're going to go ahead and wear it throughout the day. I'll be back in just Okay guys, so I've had my makeup done for like an hour now. I just needed a break because I think I have allergies. I think that's what's going on and my eyes are getting so watery. The lights were becoming like too much for me. So I had to take a break. I went and ate some food and came back. So this is what the foundation is looking like right now. Um, 
I like it, but I do think it is just a little too heavy for me. I don't have any diffusers on my lights, so you guys see everything. You see pores, you see texture. You can see a lot of what's going on with the skin. You can see a lot of like right here, I have a little bit of texture. Um, but my pores are actually not showing up super intense. Like right in here is usually where I have an issue and they don't look bad whatsoever and I even have highlighter all the way up to the top. So like in these lights it looks a lot more intense but when I go out into like my house and just look at myself out there and the mirrors out there in my bathroom it looks a lot better because I don't have such harsh light like going onto my skin. So far so good on the skin it is a little bit heavy but I think it's gonna be fine. It is a matte finish. If you have dry skin you are not going to like this I believe because it is like a dry matte. I haven't tried a dry matte foundation in a while. Usually I go for more of like a satin matte. So this is a new one for me for a while, but I will definitely test it out for you. And for lips, I'm wearing the Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipstick. I'm obsessed with this. This is in the shade Naked. I really like these liquid lipsticks because they're really lightweight and they don't feel drying on the lips at all. Right now it is 324. I'm going to go ahead and wear this throughout the day. I will keep you guys updated and I will see you in my next clip. Hi guys! So I'm back looking a little bit of a hot mess. Um, I took my lashes off because my lashes were irritating me really, really bad. Oh my gosh, it looked so awful on camera. This is real life, you guys. Okay, so let's just do some updates real quick. First off, this is what the foundation is looking like after quite a few hours. Right now it is 10.24. I'm honestly really exhausted. I'm like an old lady lately. I just like want to go to bed early so bad nowadays. But anyways, I went out earlier and I went shopping and things and like got some stuff. I'll show you. Excuse me. Daisy has her head in the Sephora bag. She's my dog. I went shopping at Sephora for some throwback throwdown products and I ended up buying a lot. So I went out to, you know, buy that stuff and just run some errands. And I only blotted once in store, which was about, maybe about 6.30. And I haven't touched my face with any powder all day today. So I'm going to take some tissue. I would normally use my blotting sheets from Palladio and blot my face with that, but I don't have those up here with me. And when I was looking at myself in the mirrors when I was out, it actually looked pretty good, I think. Like, it didn't look terrible, you know what I mean? I definitely got a little bit oily throughout the end of the night. I'm sorry, I'm sniffling and stuff, I'm getting sick. Okay, so I just ran out of space on my memory card. Had to go downstairs and I watched over some of the footage um, from the beginning and now, and I think I have a conclusion on the foundation. When I was out and stuff, it did look okay. Obviously it looked like I had foundation on, but it wasn't as smooth as my like Sonia Kashuk one or my Wet n Wild foundation. I feel like this foundation is just too heavy for me and for the $120 price tag, for me, I don't think it's worth it and I think if you have normal to dry skin you might not like it either just because it is so drying. It does accentuate you know, texture if you have that. Um, it didn't really accentuate my pores too much. I think it's just more the texture that I have from the rosacea. Mm, I'm gonna give it a no. I'm sorry. Yeah, it just didn't work out for me. It's not the kind of foundation I like to go for. I think it's just too drying and uh, it just it's a little too cake face for me, believe it or not. It's a little too cake face for me. That is my conclusion on this foundation. I think you guys can see it for yourselves, how it looks on the skin, and I just wasn't impressed by it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did like it, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!